I call the honourable member for Indi. Thank you, Madam Speaker. My question is to the Treasurer. Treasurer, as you know, Australia is a land of great diversity, and budget measures may sometimes have unintended consequences on certain sectors of the population. In previous years, to avoid potential disadvantage to country people, a budget impact statement on regional Australia has accompanied every budget. Not so this year. Mr Treasurer, will you please commit to including a budget impact statement on regional Australia in 2015 and 16 budgets so that we can understand impact and effectiveness? I call the Honourable the Treasurer. If the member for Hunter wishes to leave, he'll interject again. The Treasurer I missed, has the call. I missed it. You can offer it again. Uh, thank you, uh, Madam Speaker. And I thank the honourable member for the question. Uh, on the 2nd of June, the Deputy Prime Minister issued what would have to be probably the most comprehensive statement ever issued about the impact of the budget on regional communities. It is a commendable document, and I commend it. Uh, for that reason, because it is comprehensive, and the Minister for Regional Development, the Deputy Prime Minister, and the Deputy Minister uh, put out a document that summarised right across the board the impact of our decisions in the budget on regional Australia. And in fact, on budget night, we put out a number of documents which mainstreamed the impact of uh, budget decisions. Uh, on regional Australia. For example, this wonderful infrastructure document. You were lauding it the other day, actually, Prime Minister. And the member for this Morton document outlines, born. for example, or gives you quite some detail, $5.6 billion we're spending on the Pacific Highway, uh, $1.5 billion on regional rail link in Victoria, $6.7 billion, $6.7 billion on the Bruce Highway, and a range of other initiatives that are all about building a stronger region. But I can assure the, the member honourable for member that, wishes to leave. that there are a number of other initiatives <laughs> that we are delivering on that are going to help regional Choices Australia. Is. The starting point is to get rid of the carbon tax, and that's what we promised, and that is what we have delivered. And that means that regional Australia, as well as the whole of Australia, is going to benefit from lower costs of energy and is going to benefit by not having a comparative disadvantage in exports with other nations. And the other thing we're doing, which is part of the budget, I say to the honourable member, is we are determined to get rid of the mining tax. And as we speak right now, uh, the repeal of the mining tax is passing through the Senate. And why so? Because we went to two elections promising to get rid of that insidious tax. Only the Labor Party could come up with a tax that raises no money. That raises no money. I'm sorry, it raises one per cent of what it promised. 1 per cent of what it promised. In fact, uh, as, the former, as the member for Lilly and former Treasury used to say, the mining tax is about redistributing the wealth of Australia. Well, that tax was so successful, it redistributed two and a half cents to every Australian over the last four months. The problem is it has $17 billion of expenditure against it. So I commend the member for Lilly for putting in the page of history a new benchmark on taxation, a tax that destroys jobs, a tax that destroys business, a tax that raises no money. Well, we're getting rid of that tax, and that's to the great benefit of regional Australia. 